Please subscribe to my channel, Audio Novels. See playlist for other chapters and novels. Thank you. Chapter 225, Golden Crow True Body Pure Yu Hao's eyes shone with golden light as he faced the immense spiritual pressure placed on him by Han Yu or Yu O. A layer of golden light soon engulfed his entire body. When the golden light shone, a dim golden fog also rose from his body. What? Han Yu or Yu O exclaimed slightly. She was stunned to discover that her spiritual lock had lost its effect, or rather, it had been isolated. She hadn't expected such a thing to occur, especially considering that she had eight rings and was facing a five-ringed opponent. Minga, be careful. Pure Yu Hao's spiritual cultivation isn't below mine. How could his spiritual power be so strong? Just as Han Yu or Yu was becoming perplexed, Wang Yan watched as both parties unleashed their martial souls. He shouted, Begin! Both parties acted immediately. Wu Ming was the fastest. As she tipped her toes to the ground, she leapt forward. Her golden crow primordial fire was unleashed, and intense sparks started to illuminate the entire arena. Han Yu or Yuo and Chu Qingshan were completely concealed by the sparks. As she shouted and burst forward, she pointed her right hand toward the sky. Her fourth soul ring shone brightly, and a ruby ball of light the size of a long and shot into the sky. This ball of light was very small when it appeared, but it grew continuously as it ascended. When it was thirty meters from the ground, it had already grown to the size of a head. After this, it started to crash down towards Shrek's seven monsters like a meteorite. Shrek's seven monsters were mostly unfamiliar with Wu Ming's soul skills. Xuanshai took a step forward and lifted his shield of the Xuanming turtle up high, preparing to resist Wu Ming's attack. Ripples spread out across the pitch black shield. Among Shrek's seven monsters, Kuo Yuhao was a nice type, while Xuanshai was truly water type. His defense didn't just possess the resilience of his shield but also the gentleness of water. At least in terms of element, his shield wasn't inferior to the golden crow primordial fire. However, something weird suddenly occurred. The scarlet red fireball that was moving extremely quickly stopped in the air just as it was about to crash against the shield. After that, it made a turn and glided past it. It seemed to sweep past P Xu Sanshai and Jiang Nanan, and started to crash down towards Hikaitu at the center of the formation. Her control over this soul skill was immaculate. If Wu Ming only attacked with brute force, how would she be able to reign with terror in the inner courtyard? She was truly capable. Even with Huo Yu Hao's spiritual detection, he could only judge that Wu Ming was controlling her soul skill. However, he didn't know what transformation was going to happen to her soul skill. Wu Ming revealed a smile on her face. Her fourth soul skill was called the Golden Crow Primordial Firing. Once it blew apart in the center of the opponent's formation, it would cause a tremendous impact and scorching effect. Even if it couldn't harm them, it could at least destroy their formation and separate them. Once their formation was disrupted, they could be dealt with individually using Han Ryu or Yuo's control. In such a perilous situation, Shrek's seven monsters were indeed quite frantic. After all, the seven of them hadn't teamed up with one another for more than two years. All seven of them wanted to attack at the same time, but they were lacking slightly in chemistry. However, this lack of cooperation could be made up for using their capabilities. Xiao Xiao shouted, let me handle it. Chemistry was built on trust. When she shouted this, the rest of the six didn't bother with the golden crow primordial firing and continued to burst forward. A ball of black light appeared just as the golden crow primordial firing crashed down. It was a huge cauldron. The cauldron was around one and a half meters high, one and a half meters across, and it was as heavy as a mountain. From the looks of it, the golden crow primordial firing was going to crash into this cauldron. Its strength was undoubtedly going to be contained by it. However, 
Wu Ming controlled her soul skill again. The crashing golden crow primordial firing moved three inches laterally before it continued to descend. This was the second shift of her soul skill. As a soul sage from Shrek Academy, Wu Ming's spiritual power was superior to most other ordinary soul sages. However, her smile froze just as she revealed it on her face. The cauldron divided into three components just as the golden crow primordial firing moved. Wu Ming's control was limited, and so, her ring landed in one of the cauldrons. Kuo Yu Hao's spiritual detection couldn't judge how Wu Ming was going to control her soul skill, but he could accurately grasp the timing of her actions. Xiao Xiao's three lives soul crush cauldron divided at that timing, and the golden crow primordial firing was caught in one of them. A loud boom resonated from the three lives soul crush cauldron, and the entire cauldron turned golden red. But no heat seeped out because Xiao Xiao contained Wu Ming's soul skill completely. It wasn't just one cauldron that turned red, all three changed color at the same time. The attacks was distributed evenly across all three cauldrons. Although Wu Ming's cultivation was far superior to Xiao Xiao's, it wasn't easy for her to overcome the three lives soul crush cauldron. Xiao Xiao's expression changed slightly before it returned to normal. As long as the three lives soul crush cauldron wasn't destroyed, only her soul power would be depleted. She wouldn't be hurt. She was delayed for a moment, however, and thus was now slightly behind Huo Yu Hao and Wang Donga. She pointed her fingers at the three cauldrons, and they started to revolve rapidly. The golden red color emanating from the cauldrons also started to quickly disappear. Wu Ming's name was built on her offense. She was shocked that her fourth soul skill was resisted so easily. However, she didn't stop given her wealth of experience. As she lifted her right hand, her second soul ring started to shine brightly. A golden red flame started to dance above her palm. In the next instant, an intense golden red spark started to burn around her body, bailing the entire sparring arena in a golden red light. This was Wu Ming's second soul skill, Golden Crow Primordial Fire Combustion. Both parties were now only a hundred meters apart. After the initial attack, the gap between both parties had been pulled closer. Bang Zisanshai didn't rush forward recklessly. They maintained their formation with the rest behind them. From the side, Jiang Nanan had vanished directly behind Xu Sanshai. She couldn't be located anymore. On their side, the agility type soul master had disappeared behind their defense type soul master. On their opponent's side, Chu Qingshan also hid behind Wu Ming. Wu Ming clasped her hands in front of her. Since her soul skills wouldn't work she changed her strategy. A beam of golden red fire instantly shot out from her hands. This beam of fire was almost a meter across, and shot straight towards Shrek's seven monsters. It was a direct confrontation. At this point, Kuo Yu Hao finally made his move. He quickly took a step forward, coming beside Hikaitu. Bang Zisanshai moved to either side of him. With Huo Yu Hao's spiritual detection, they didn't need to rely on sound to warn one another. The entire process proceeded smoothly, and their cohesion was great. And as your green light started to shine from Huo Yu Hao's chest and belly, in the next moment, a huge beam of his your green light shot out towards Wu Ming's first soul skill, the Golden Crow Primordial Fire. While it was only Wu Ming's first soul skill, it was enhanced by her second soul skill. As both soul skills complemented each other, the air seemed to be scorched as the golden red beam of fire passed. The air started to distort, and reveal ripple-like patterns. However, this was the complete opposite of what was happening on Huo Yu Hao's side. The azure green beam of light caused all the heat to be replaced with a chill. His attack clashed directly with the Golden Crow Primordial Fire. It was the Ice Empress Wrath. This was once Huo Yu Hao's strongest soul skills, 
and it was still very effective now. Under the effect of his Hodong power and with help from Wang Donga, the depletion of his soul power was negligible. The contrasting beams of light clashed together in the air. This was also the first direct clash of abilities. Dense fog started to diffuse from the center of the collision. A piercing sound reverberated, and the two beams of light were destroyed at the same time. Neither party gained an advantage. Impressive. It earns its name as the ultimate ice. Wu Ming shouted as she jumped up high. A pair of golden red wings flapped open behind her back. Her martial soul was the golden crow, and possessed flying abilities. It wasn't a soul skill or soul tool. The golden crow primordial fire continued to be unleashed. As she flew into the air, a streak of dim golden light also flashed across. It was unleashed quickly beneath her feet towards Shrek's seven monsters. Han Yu or Yuo had finally acted. When Han Yu or Yuo made her move, all seven of her foes turned serious. She was an eight ringed soul du Yuo, the strongest opponent they had ever faced. Han Yu or Yuo's first soul ring lit up, and the streak of golden light that came from it was like a golden line that stretched into infinity. It was like a spiritual snake that slithered forward. After it flashed beneath Wu Ming's feet, it reached Bang Zisanshai in the next moment. This was Han Yu or Yuo's control type tool soul, the dazzling golden rope. The dazzling golden rope was like living matter, and started to quiver towards both sides. At the same time, two golden rings arced out towards Bang Zisanshai. Pressed his hands down, and two thunderous dragon claws were unleashed. Amid reverberating booms, Two huge claw prints were left behind on the granite flooring where the thunderous dragon claws struck. However, the dazzling golden rope twisted slightly before it managed to circumvent them. It seemed to have eyes. At the same time, its speed didn't drop at all as it continued to loop towards Bang Zisanshai. Kyo Yuha made a move again. He didn't know how strong a control type soul Dulua was. But he was certain that this sparring match would end very quickly if he allowed Han Yu or Yuo to gain the upper hand. Purple light flashed across Huo Yu Hao's eyes. Han Yu or Yuo's body jerked slightly, and she took a step back. Her dazzling golden rope was also retracted, and arced out in a huge golden ring in the air. Yes, it was Huo Yu Hao's spiritual shock, one of the few offensive soul skills of his spirit eyes. A control type soul master against another control type soul master. Kyo Yu Hao managed to gain a slight advantage over Han Yu or Yuo as she was caught off guard. However, her spiritual power was indeed powerful. Although she was a little lost for a moment, her eyes then started to shine brightly. A faint silvery glow shot out of her eyes, engulfing her entire body. It was yet another embodiment of her spiritual power although it was a different color. When this layer of silvery spiritual power flowed out, Kyo Yu Hao felt as if she were unstoppable. However, he had still managed to buy some time for the rest. As Han Yu or Yuo's dazzling golden rope was restricted, Shrek's seven monsters unleashed their full-out attacks. Xisanshai was the first to make a move. He took a big step forward, and his shield lit up with a weird black glow. In the next instant, he flew into the air. Wu Ming was about to unleash a strike towards him when he suddenly disappeared. Xisanshai was displaced to her position. Mysterious Underworld Displacement. This was the soul skill that stole the limelight during the last edition of the Continental Advanced Soul Master Academy Soul Dueling Tournament. The most unique trait of this mysterious underworld displacement was its element of surprise. If one was caught off guard, it was impossible to break free once it was locked on. That was why it became one of Xisanshai's strongest soul skills as a defense type soul master. For defense type soul masters, this was a divine skill. At certain times, the mysterious underworld displacement could change the outcome of a situation entirely. Unless the opponent's soul power and spiritual power completely overwhelmed his own, 
then his mysterious underworld displacement would never fail. Even though Wu Ming was a soul sage, Xu Sanshai was a soul emperor. He wouldn't have any confidence if he used it against Han Yu or Yuo, but it shouldn't be resisted easily by Wu Ming, considering her cultivation. As he was displaced, Xu Sanshai faced an unprotected Chu Qingxian. Chu Qingxian saw a sly smile on his face before gloomy clouds starting to appear. The light coming off his shield formed a wall of shields. Following this, a huge illusory projection of a Xuan Wu surfaced. In the next instant, the shield wall had converted into the shape of a turtle shell. It had a diameter of over 10 meters, and it started to crash down towards Chu Qingxian. The terrifying thing about it was that it caused Chu Qingxian to feel as if there was a black whirlpool in the center of the shield. A strong suction force was unleashed from this whirlpool, dragging his body towards it, and causing his speed to fall tremendously. Right now, more than one of Xuanxi's soul rings had lit up. Besides his second soul ring, his pitch black fifth soul ring was also shining. His fifth soul skill was called Turtle God Strike. This soul skill was different in that it couldn't be used on its own. This also meant that Xu Sanshai's fifth soul skill was useless without other soul skills. It needed to coordinate with his second skill. He could only complete this blow by using the soul power needed to unleash these two soul skills at once. However, it was also because of this that this blow was very strong. If not for the fact that Xu Sanshai had the Xu An Wu's blood lineage in his martial soul, it definitely wouldn't have been so strong. Wu Ming was also in a crisis on the other side. When Xu Sanshai struck, Bo also burst forward. However, he turned back immediately after bursting a few meters out. Jiang Nanan did almost exactly the same thing as him, while Huo Yu Hao, Wang Donga, Xiao Xiao, and He Kaita completed an arc shaped formation. When Wu Ming was displaced, she was already completely surrounded by the six of them. Wu Ming was in a daze as she was encircled. Shrek's seven monsters were familiar with such a strategy and coordination. Their chemistry hadn't seemed to fade even after more than two years. Kuo Yu Hao struck her just as Wu Ming landed. He unleashed the complete version of the Dark Gold and Terra Claws supported by the Ice Empress Pinsa. Xiao Xiao changed to her second martial soul, the Nine Air Phoenix Worshipping Flute. Even though it only had one soul ring, her soul power was far superior to before. The pleasant sounds of the flute rendered Wu Ming dizzy, and her speed dropped significantly. Bled out a huge amount of electricity. As the vigorous thunderbolt was unleashed, it turned into an electric web that engulfed her. Wang Donga flapped her wings and the light of the butterfly goddess flowed towards Wu Ming. Huge amounts of golden light started to wash over her body. Four out of the six surrounding her attacked. Only Jiang Nanan and Ikaita remained where they were. Jiang Nanan was waiting for an opportunity, while Ikaita was lifting a heavy cannon to his shoulder. His target was Han Yu or Yu O. Oh. An intense red light flashed and a huge ball of red light shot out into the air towards Han Yu or Yu O. Oh. This was a class 6 high power cannon shell. This kind of high power cannon shell was extremely explosive and fiery. It could only be fired by a class 6 high power soul cannon, and even then, it could only be fired three times consecutively. The class 6 high powered soul cannon could only be used again after a two hour cooldown period, otherwise it might overheat and explode. Aside from its obvious drawbacks, its offensive strength was one of the best among class 6 soul tools. Moreover, Hikaitas still had Huo Yu Hao's spiritual detection to guide him. He didn't need to worry about his accuracy. Shrek's seven monsters were spiritually connected at this point. Xu Sanshai had flown out and used his strong domain type soul skill. He didn't just want to stop Chu Qingxian in his tracks, he also wanted to trap Han Yu or Yu O. Oh. Along with Hikaitu's cannon shell, their aim was not to kill or hurt their opponents. Rather, 
they wanted to delay Han Yu or Yuo or Chu Qingshan's assistance to Wu Ming. On the other side, four of them had teamed up to attack Wu Ming. However, Wu Ming wasn't easy to deal with, either. At such a critical moment, Wu Ming demonstrated her outstanding abilities. Her seventh soul ring lit up at this point. Instantly, she turned into a fiery golden red lady. She let out a sonorous whistle, and her wings beat once, propelling her upwards. She clashed head on with Huo Yu Hao's dark gold and terror claws. As reverberating booms sounded, the granite under Wu Ming's feet started to crack. However, she had first managed to resist the delay that the Niner Phoenix worshipping flute had imposed on her as she unleashed her golden grow true body. Psst vigorous thunderbolt was also resisted by the golden crow true body. As the light of the butterfly goddess landed on the golden crow true body, it caused huge ripples on the surface. However, it couldn't force Wu Ming back. Only the dark gold and terror claws had some effect on her. Yes, this was a martial soul true body, a powerful skill that only a soul sage or higher possessed. Kuo Yuhao and Wang Donga had once faced Zhao Yang's martial soul true body. His violet gold bear had left a deep impression on them. But at this point, they realized the true terror of a martial soul true body as Wu Ming unleashed her golden crow true body. Wu Ming's aura sword, and her scorching golden crow primordial fire forced Bun Jiang Nanan to retreat a few steps. Even as she withstood the attacks of several soul skills, she wasn't at any kind of disadvantage. Although she was surrounded, she still seemed to be counter-attacking. Open up! Wu Ming shouted as she revealed her strong side. Her third soul ring lit up, and she pressed her hands downward. She was about to unleash her third soul skill, the Golden Crow Primordial Fire Explosion. It was a soul skill that caused immense destruction, and when one was trapped in an enemy encirclement, it was highly effective. However, Jiang Nanan started to act at this point. When she leapt into the air, she had already arrived behind Wu Ming. A dark golden glow lit up on her body. Wu Ming was very confident in her golden crow true body, and thus didn't bother with Jiang Nanan's actions at all. She believed that she wouldn't be hurt even if Jiang Nanan struck her, since she only possessed a five-ringed cultivation. As her golden crow primordial fire explosion was about to erupt, they were definitely going to be blown away. Their encirclement would also be overcome, and it would be time to chase after victory once she was freed. However, Wu Ming felt something amiss as Jiang Nanan stuck close to her. The heat from the Golden Crow Primordial Fire was useless against Jiang Nanan. But she didn't attack either, and only stuck close to Wu Ming. Her hands and even her legs were wrapped around Wu Ming. The dark golden glow turned into an intense bright gold. After this, Wu Ming's third soul ring was extinguished. The Golden Crow Primordial Fire Explosion wasn't unleashed. Jiang Nanan's fourth and fifth soul rings shone. Yes, it was the result of her fourth soul skill, Invincible Golden Body, and her fifth soul skill, Soft Bow Lock. The defensive strength of the Invincible Golden Body had increased greatly, but it still only lasted for a few seconds. As her cultivation increased, it was currently able to last for seven seconds. The Soft Bone Lock could also seal all non martial soul true body soul skills once the opponent was locked on, at the cost of her own mobility. Due to the gap in their abilities, Jiang Nanan couldn't possibly stay on Wu Ming forever. After all, the Golden Crow Primordial Fire would still burn her once her invincible golden body disappeared. But as a result of her actions, the Golden Crow Primordial Fire Combustion and Golden Crow Primordial Fire Explosion that Wu Ming was going to unleash were sealed, even though her martial soul true body was still active. Jiang Nanan was fighting for this little bit of time for the rest to attack again. An orange gold figure flew out from Huo Yu Hao's body at this point. In the next moment, Huo Yu Hao arrived in front of Wu Ming. He gently tapped her shoulder. At the same time, 
Cure you house ice jade empress scorpion's third soul ring, the second of his four orange gold soul rings lit up. Jiang Nanan disappeared just as Huo Yu Hao tapped Wu Ming's shoulder. Her third soul skill helped her to escape after she bought enough time for Huo Yu Hao. His palm was gentle, smooth, and spotless. As his palm struck Wu Ming's shoulder, her entire body started to tremble. The ferocious golden crow primordial fire that had broken free from the restraint of the soft bone lock was instantly extinguished as if a basin of ice water had been poured over it. Wu Ming's body also froze. The golden red faded from her body, and her golden crow true body seemed to have been dissipated by Huo Yu Hao's gentle palm. Empress Palm, Snowless Glacier Newton, the Clear Sky Sect Sect Master had once mentioned that the only way to avoid the Snowless Glacier was to avoid being struck by it. The Empress Palm had to make contact before it could take effect. Considering his status, his appraisal of the Snow Empress Snowless Glacier showed how strong it was. Sword and Palm sends the sky into a chill, the Empress Sword, Palm, and Chill. Among these three soul skills, the Empress Palm was ranked second. However, it was the strongest of the three in terms of its direct offensive strength. After fusing with the Snow Empress spirit, Kyo Yu Hao no longer possessed solely Ultimate Ice, but Ultimate Ice and Snow. Among all cold type soul masters, no one could compare to him. Even without the enhancement of the snowy dance of Ultimate Ice, Kyo Yu Hao's snowless glacier still managed to achieve a temperature of absolute zero. While the Golden Crow true body was very strong, the strength of Huo Yu Hao's snowless glacier was on display as it struck at such close quarters. Wu Ming felt her shoulder turning numb as it was hit. In the next moment, she discovered that her soul power seemed to have solidified. Her martial soul true body disintegrated instantly, and her entire right arm went numb. Suddenly, a lukewarm feeling started to gush from her shoulder to the rest of her body. Yes, it was a lukewarm feeling. However, it gave her chills. Reversal. Even though Huo Yu Hao's palm wasn't enhanced by the sovereign's descent, it still managed to surprisingly turn the chill into a warm feeling. After Huo Yu Hao struck Wu Ming, he also felt something amiss, and pressed his palm down again. But as the warm flow returned to his body, and both he and the snow lady started to shine with bright orange light. The attack was absorbed back into Huo Yu Hao. Not only was his soul power restored, even the Snow Lady benefited greatly. Wu Ming unleashed her Golden Crow Primordial Fire once again, but her face had turned pale white. She didn't know if she would have survived if Huo Yu Hao hadn't absorbed the warm flow in time. However, she knew that it had been gushing straight towards her heart. What soul skill was that? Wu Ming was stunned. The rest of Shrek's seven monsters didn't continue to attack her after they were informed through Huo Yu Hao's spiritual detection. However, the sparring still continued. Just as Wu Ming was struck by the snowless glacier, Xu Sanshai ran into trouble. Chu Qingshan couldn't handle the turtle god's strike, and was forced back. However, there was still a Han Ryu or Yuo behind him. Han Yu or Yuo lifted her hand as she faced the turtle god's strike and he kite his high power cannon shell. A golden ring light was unleashed with her body in the center. She didn't rush to save Wu Ming, as she knew Wu Ming well, and had absolute confidence in her power. Han Yu or Yuo believed that Shrek's seven monsters couldn't defeat Wu Ming easily since she had unleashed her martial soul true body, even if they encircled her. Xu Sanshai didn't have to bother helping them defeat her, either. The golden ring looked very simple, as if it were a thick arm. It had a diameter of around 5 meters. However, a shocking scene appeared when the golden ring collided with the turtle god's strike and Hikaitu's high power cannon shell. Boom, boom. Two loud booms sounded at the same time. The first to blow apart was the high power cannon shell. Hikaitu chose to fire at this time in order to coordinate with Xu Sanshai. As an advanced level soul engineer, 
he had great awareness. In addition, he had Huo Yu Hao's help. However, the golden ring appeared to be impenetrable. The terrifying impact generated by the high power cannon shell affected the entire sparring arena. A mushroom cloud rose over the entire arena, but Han Yu or Yuo didn't move a single step. The golden ring only shook slightly before it collided with the turtle god's strike as well. The turtle god's strike was a combination of two soul skills, and was unleashed by Xusanshai, who possessed the Xuan Wu's blood lineage. As it collided with the golden ring, it created an intense whirlpool that generated a suction force. This whirlpool wasn't simple, as it could continuously deplete the opponent's soul power. However, the golden ring suddenly divided into three when the turtle god's strike collided with it. They intersected and connected together. As a buzz sounded, they started to pull in three different directions. The instant they collided, and as the boom from their collision echoed out, the turtle god's strike was overcome and converted back into countless projections of shields. Eventually, it returned to Xusanshai's shield. Xusanshai cursed, but before he could react further, a streak of golden light had already entangled him. No matter how he tried to struggle and resist with his shield, the dazzling golden ropes still dragged him down. He was restrained like a plump dumpling. Chu Qingxian couldn't give up such a perfect opportunity. He snuck up behind Xu Sanshai, and a panther projection formed by lightning shone brightly before striking Xu Sanshai's body forcefully. Suddenly, Xu Sanshai's body started to flash with lightning. He appeared to be convulsing. As Han Yu or Yuo flung her right hand, Xu Sanshai was thrown forward. Wang Yan made his judgment right there, Xu Sanshai had been eliminated. This was the first time the Shrek's seven monsters attack had ever been stopped once the mysterious underworld displacement was used. Xusanshai just didn't stand a chance against Han Yu or Yu O. Oh. The rest also started to feel that the dazzling golden rope was going to be difficult to deal with. The rope could loosen, tighten, whip, and block. Even when it was tangled, it was flexible. However, it seemed indestructible when it tightened. Han Yu or Yu controlled her martial soul very well. Xusanshai was defeated before he could unleash his full strength. Although that was partly due to the fact that Han Yu or Yu's martial soul was very effective at curbing Xusanshai's, it was also undeniable that the gap in their cultivations played a huge part in his defeat. Shrek's seven monsters were stunned. But Han Yu or Yuo was equally shocked. She had defeated Xusanshai in the shortest time possible. However, she was appalled to discover that the remaining six were all rushing towards her, while Wu Ming didn't move from her spot. What did it mean for the six of them to turn their backs on her? It meant that she had been defeated. So quickly? Ming Er only just showed her golden grow true body. While she was quite puzzled, she also became warier. Her eyes gave off a fierce light, and she snorted. The dazzling golden rope struck forward towards the six of them. She was aiming for Huo Yu Hao. He Kaitu, who was in front of the rest, suddenly stopped. A crisp, clanging sound rang out as he stood firmly rooted to the ground. A circular metal disc appeared beneath his feet. The bottom of the disc was conical and stabbed right into the granite below. Hikaita stood above this disc. Following this, a large number of soul tools started to combine with his body. In a matter of seconds, he had become a metal monster with countless barrels pointing outwards, all aimed at Han Yu or Yu O. Oh. Among Shrek's seven monsters, who had the greatest destructive abilities. In terms of direct power, it wasn't P Xu Sanshai, Huo Yu Hao or Wang Donga. It was Hikaitu. Hikaitu was already a class 7 soul engineer, which was equivalent to a soul sage. Although a class 7 soul engineer was still some ways off from a soul sage's martial soul true body, the gap was still manageable. After five years, Hikaitu once again used the soul tool fort strategy. However, it was on a completely different level compared to five years ago. He lifted a huge, 
heavy dark gold cannon that was more than two and a half meters long onto his shoulder. He used the rest of his soul tools to support the weight of this cannon. When the cannon was unleashed, even Han Yu or Yuo felt a shiver run down her spine. Please subscribe to my channel, Audio Novels. See playlist for other chapters and novels. Thank you.